Well, obviously, it's very worrying news, and uh, all of us are praying for Boris and thinking of him and praying and thinking of his family and hoping that he gets well soon and gets back to number 10, where I know he wants to be and where he, we all want him to be. Boris is a very tough, very resilient, very fit person. I know that from facing him on the tennis court, and I'm sure he'll come through this. Well, Boris is very resilient, he's tough. Also, he's got a tremendous zest for life and for getting things done and for leading and for taking decisions. I know he'll want to get well and to get back in charge again, and that's what we all want for him, and we're hoping and praying that that's the case, and that's the case very soon. So all our wishes are with him. He's doing a tremendous job, and obviously we all want him back in there. Right now, all of us are just human beings united in a fight against this virus. And as we know, the Prime Minister, as well as leading the UK government's response, is currently in hospital fighting his own personal battle against coronavirus. I chaired a meeting of the Scottish Government's Cabinet this morning and we recorded our very best wishes to him. And so now, and I'm sure I do this on behalf of all of Scotland, I want to send every good wish to him, to his fiancée and to his whole family. We are all willing you on, Boris. Get well soon.